Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Strawberry Shortcake Cooked in the Camp Oven. This is just our version of it. It's pretty simple. We've got some soft raising flour here. A little pinch of cinnamon always gives it a nice flavour. A couple of spoonfuls of raw sugar. Three, that'll do it. Let's mix it all around. 75 grams of butter. Clean hands, we're just going to mix that all together. Pop in our egg. Richo's got some gorgeous coals going. We're on the banks of Pindari Dam, which is an inland dam in northern New South Wales. We're going to bake this in the camp oven, slice it through the center once it's cooked, slather it with some sour cream and sliced fresh strawberries. Very easy to do. You could use frozen berries or even tin berries if you like. You could even use banana, but it would be a strawberry shortcake then. Okay, in with an egg. And we're going to loosen the whole deal with some lemon soda. Just until it comes together. You don't want to overmix this because it will get tough. The egg will give it a sort of a cakey feel. The lemon will give it a nice flavour too. You could add lemon rind or lemon juice to it if you want to. But strawberries and lemon are really good friends. Now we've just greased a little, well it's actually a sponge tin but it fits in our camp oven. It's going to be cooked on a trivet. So once we've got this well and truly combined, don't have to knead it or anything like that. It's going to rise beautifully because we're using self-raising flour. If you don't have self-raising flour, you are. Put one teaspoon of baking powder in some all-purpose or some cake flour and that will do the same job. Just make sure you've got no white bits left. Okay, and just tip that into our pre-prepared tin. Smooth it all out. Now, just pour a little bit of your leftover, what used half a can, about 200 mils, just pour a little bit over the top and just smooth it down. It's the same as basting, it's got sugar in it, so it's going to give it a nice little coating on the top. You can see it's pretty well level with the top of the tin there. Okay, right, into the camp oven, onto our trivet, few coals on top, plenty of coals underneath it. Don't make your fire too hot because you will burn it before it's cooked through and it's ready to cook. Okay, we've got this nice and juicy on the front now. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit of our raw sugar on the top of that because we don't actually have any icing sugar. So just sprinkle that on there and it'll sort of go caramelized and sort of crusty and give it a little bit of extra sweetness. Don't need too much, about a teaspoon or so. Any little lumps, just spread them out. Okay, coals are nearly ready now. It's into the oven we go. Okay, we've just got a trivet in the bottom of our camp oven. Pop in our strawberry shortcake, pop the lid on, and it's ready for the fire. You have to put some on top of this, don't forget. I'll get you the glove. Oh, they go on there. Oh. Yeah, I should do that spot. Then the coals on top, do you reckon? I think so, yeah. Well, it's 25 to 7. 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes later, our coals are burnt down nicely. They're just covered with ash, so. Ah, oh, how does that look? Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. Cool, that's hot. Hang on, make sure it's cooked inside. I don't think it won. A little bit on the Yeah, I think so. Another five minutes. You can see it's still a bit wobbly. Needs another five minutes or so. I'll throw a few more coals on top there for you with the shovel. We just popped a few more coals on. It's pretty cold here and the fire is losing a lot of its heat quite quickly. So a few more coals on the top because it's quite a distance down into the top of the strawberry shortcake and that'll just give it a nice brown crust. Give it another five minutes. Okay, five minutes later we're going to have another little test and see how they're going. Get our lid off. Oh yes. Look at that, how beautifully risen it is. Very cakey, benefit from another five minutes actually. Quite surprising, another five minutes. Don't mean to get impatient. Oh yes, there you go, oh, beautiful. Oh, it smells sweet too. Mm. Check that out. Mm -mm. Ready to go, just tap the top of it with your finger. Mm. Beautiful. Hear that? sounds hollow, it's cooked. You don't need to put a skewer or anything inside it. It's not burnt at all. We let that cool for a while, tip it out, slice it in the slanter, slather it with some berry jam, some sliced strawberries. I've got sour light cream, but you could use whipped cream or coconut cream if you like, with a sprinkle of cinnamon. And that is going to be a delicious dessert by the campfire. Hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo cooking channel. And don't forget to please subscribe. And do come back and visit us again soon. We've got lots more to show. 
show you and we're uploading lots of videos thanks for watching okay now we're just pulling the stems off these strawberries you can hold them properly if you like it doesn't really matter cut just slice them into thirds every every bite of your strawberry shortcake is going to have a bite of strawberries and these are queensland strawberries they're sort of the end of the season so some of them are a little bit sweet and some of them are a little bit tart but that doesn't matter because we've got lemon in our strawberry shortcake and we're using sour cream which is also given it a nice little tart tang without being too sweet but we're also using some berry jam don't be too stingy with the strawberries you really want to be able to taste the flavor of what you're serving it's a pretty economical dessert and if you can get hold of some reasonably priced strawberries you're laughing you know one of my favorite things a little silicon colander you can use it as a fruit bowl it takes up no space that's the depth of it rinses really easily you can stick in the dishwasher obviously we're camping we don't have a dishwasher but nothing sticks to it it's good for um straining pasta and <laughs> big grains of rice because it's got big holes in it but it's uh, perfect for washing your fruit and vegetables and your berries as well okay i'm going to lift this little fella out now and pop him onto his serving plate just bend him Look at that, perfect. Oh, yum, crunchy, warm. Mm. Oh, can't wait, can't wait. Yeah, it's probably a bit warm to cut just now. So we're gonna cut it through the center with a serrated knife. Turning as we go and hopefully it'll meet up at the other side. That's the plan. Yeah. Now we've just got a, a paint scraper here to assist us in lifting that off and look at that yum 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 okay now on with some berry jam take it to the edges so that the berry jam actually peeks out the side another dollop will do now we'll just lay our strawberries around we want those peeking out the side as well around the edges and just fill in the center and continue with the rest okay, just fill in any holes this is berries Ah, the star of the show. And then we're just gonna dollop a little bit of sour cream. You can see how nice and thick that is. It's quite tart. You could use yogurt, of course. We're out camping, so I don't have a piping bag. I haven't got a mixer here that I can actually whip up some cream with, so this is doing the job quite nicely. And just a couple of blobs in the center. You don't need much more than that because you're gonna have trouble eating it otherwise. Now, you ready? Back on with our lid. And there you have it. Cheeky Richo's camp oven strawberry shortcake. Look at that. Yummy, yum, yum, yum. Okay, have a little taste, shall we? It's still warm from the camp oven, so it's going to be a little bit crumbly. Obviously, it will firm up a lot more when it's allowed to get cold. But who can wait? This looks and smells amazing. There you have it, Cheeky Richo cooking camp oven strawberry shortcake it's light and fluffy the tart strawberries and the tart cream balance beautifully with the berry jam and the crunchy topping is amazing beautifully cooked doesn't taste smoky at all and it's perfect for sitting around the campfire on a freezing cold autumn night thanks for watching